Hey there guys, Mr. Myasis, and uh, in this video I want to go over using the TI Inspire in the spreadsheet tab. So we're just going to look, this is going to be a very short video on, on looking at the spreadsheet tab and how it's different than a TI-84 or a TI-84 Plus or if you're used to an 89 or even a TI-89. But one of the things I like about the TI Inspire is that uh, this is really for statistics, the spreadsheet tab. So if we go ahead and um, here's on, right? We're on, on. We're going to go ahead and hit a uh, new document. I like to do new documents. Down here, you'll notice right here, the green one right here, this is going to be a spreadsheet. So if I click on that, it's going to open up a spreadsheet. Now notice here, this is a spreadsheet. So if you're used to a TI-84 where you would have to put in list and you would have like L1 and L2, this is uh, in a TI Inspire, it's very nicely formatted. So it looks just like a spreadsheet that we would see maybe in Google Sheets or in a statistics program or even in an Excel. So instead of having list one, list two, list three, we have spreadsheet column A, B, C, and D and so forth and our rows one, two, three, four. So we have cells here, and I just want to go over a couple of the basic things in here. Now, up here, if we're if we start on A, we'd in in statistics, I like to label my list. So if this is my first list, I actually would like to label this. Let's just call this. Um, we'll go and type in apple. So if I type in apple, then that list is once I hit enter, that list now becomes apple. So it's a Notice here it's it's not italicized anymore. Anything I put in this list is going to be Apple. Notice I'm using the down arrows. I'm not using enter to go to my first cell. This is very important because if I hit enter here, hit enter, if I hit enter again, notice that it tells me Apple is equal to. Now, I don't want to use this cell. I'll tell you when we use this cell in just a second. I'll show you an example of that. But um, I really just want to go down here and see now it says syntax error. So it, it's not going to let me do anything now. So remember, if you ever get stuck anywhere on the TI Inspire, we just hit escape and it lets us get out of it. So in our spreadsheet, let's enter in a few 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I just want to show you and it'll keep going down. Um, in our cells. So this is our spreadsheet. If we want to do um, a, another list here, let's type peach. So now I have apple and peach. Um, let's say peach is three times as much as apple. So this is where I can use that little equal sign. So what this little equal sign is, is it allow me to put in um, functions based on other things. So if I wanted to say this is three times apple, Notice it's bold now, so it, it says, hey, I know what, an, what Apple is. It's my list that you just did. And I hit enter. Now it's going to take every element that was in my Apple list and multiply it by three. All right, that's kind of neat, right? Uh, we get to change. And notice this is the, the great thing about uh, the Inspire in that I mentioned this before. This is a dynamic calculator, not static. So if I was to make list one in a 84 equal to three times list or list two equal to three times list one and I change anything in list one, it doesn't automatically change things in list two. I've got to change this. So um, in this, if I change this to eight, it automatically changes that to 24, right? So let's say I made a mistake and I wanted to change that to five, then it automatically changes to 15 anywhere in my calculator in any tab. Right, so in even in a calculator tab, it's gonna know what Apple is. If I typed in here, Apple, it knows that that's my list, Apple, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, which was in 1.2. So anywhere in my document, it's gonna remember what my variables are. So this is the spreadsheet. There are a lot of things we could do in this spreadsheet, just so you know, you know, there's a lot of stuff we can do in the spreadsheet. For what we're gonna do in AP Statistics, always we're gonna use the menu. Look at that, we have statistics, which we're gonna use a lot. We might use data, probably not so much, but we definitely will use statistics. And I'll talk about what all these three, these four different things are in our class as we go along. But the most important thing is that you just are familiar with using a spreadsheet and being able to understand what each of these different cells are and each of these cells here and how we would use them. All right, so that's a quick introduction to using a spreadsheet.